Princess Margaret Hospital is under fire tonight by parents of children suffering chronic illness. A key nursing program that offers around-the-clock care is being overhauled, but families say it could put children's lives at risk. You ready? You gonna help Mum? Four-year-old Mark Collins has a rare brain disorder and needs constant care. His lifeline, a 24-hour program with specialised nurses at Princess Margaret Hospital. But his family says an overhaul of the service could see his life-saving care put at risk. I'm angry that these people who don't know our children and have never met our children and have never lived this life or walked in our shoes are making decisions about our children's lives. The Ambulatory Care Coordination Program, or AC, is run by a group of nurses trained to deal with complex disabilities. The nurses, a single point of contact, familiar with Mark's condition and medical history, as well as dozens of other children. They've saved his life many a time, and they've saved most, pretty much every child in that program's life at one time or another. Just from simple things of coordinating appointments and coordinating care within the hospital, to being there for us at those 2am moments where you don't know which way to turn. Mark's parents and more than 100 other families are now terrified, told the program is being phased out, part of a restructure, as services move to the new Perth Children's Hospital. Princess Margaret Hospital says the new system will provide specialist care for more children in need, but for families already in the program, their biggest fear is that they'll have nowhere to turn to in an after-hours emergency. No, AC is not closing down. PMH insists it's just a restructure. No nurses will lose their jobs. And we'll provide them with one number that they can ring and they'll be able to speak to someone directly, most probably a nurse, so they'll be able to get the help that they need. An online petition to stop the changes has more than 1,500 signatures. There is so much room for error and it's our kids' lives at, at stake. Michael Genovese, Nine News.